Welcome to another exciting edition of Power Wheel, a production of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. We hope to bring you top news stories from the power sector. I am Chiwenwa Anyao. The Transmission Company of Nigeria has installed another 60 MVA power transformer at the Jebu Ode Transmission substation in Abeokuta which has raised the substation's capacity to 120 MVA. The Managing Director, CEO, TCN, Mr. Usman Gurum Hamed, while speaking at the commissioning ceremony of the new 60 MVA 132 by 33 kV transformer, said his team has changed the scenario at the TCN by transforming it from the weakest link in the power sector value chain to leading innovator in the sector. Mohammed noted that the Ijebu Ode substation's new 60 MVA transformer project was awarded to a company and financed by the World Bank, and that the firm could not complete the project within two years. But when TCN engineers took over, it was completed within three weeks. TCN engineers are building substation on an island in Lagos. There's a place they call Elashe. TCN engineers are building substation. And so they are building at the cost of about 10% of what we normally pay contractors. So this is the TCN that we are trying to position today. Speaking on the Transmission Rehabilitation and Expansion Program, TREP, the TCN MD explained that the company targets expanding the national grid to 20,000 megawatts in three years' time. He also spoke of the action plan to achieving this, saying, and In doing that, sir, we have done so many things. One of the things that we have done is that we have changed our procurement method and, uh, and, and, and procedure. So now any contractor that gets our job must be a contractor that can deliver. That kind of system that we normally have contractors abandon our containers in the port are safe. And uh, we have also uh, put in project management uh, system where our, 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 our staff that are managing project are the best in TCM, in project management, and we are selected through competitive uh, methods. We have established four project management units which are managing four different projects. And these projects are putting transmission capacity and transmission uh, 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 all over the country. He announced plans to further increase the capacity of the Jebu Ode substation by either reconducting the line from Shagamu Town or building a 33 kV substation. If dropping the 330 KV substation here uh, is the cheapest, we are going to do it. But we are going to work with the Ogun State, sir. Chairman of Ijebu, Owumba, in Ijebu Ode, Chief M.O. Olaya, who represented the Awujale of Ijebu land, Obasikiru Adetona, lauded TCN for the project while thanking the governor of Ogun State, Amusu, for the support he gave to TCN to deliver the project. The MD has spoken to us of the plan of TCN to double the line, of the plan to double the line from Shagamu to Jebode. That is, that is what we, we, we prefer. And I'm appealing to him now to ensure that that is done. The chief of staff to the governor of Ogun State, Mr. Tulu Odebi, applauded the MD of TCN for the passion he is putting in transforming TCN as he appreciated President Muhammad Buhari towards transforming the country, saying a lot of installation is going on, all the necessary necessary infrastructure that needs to, to be put in place. You see, one of the things that we don't realize is that for any development to take place, for any industrialization to take place, especially like the way we are doing in Ogun State, the foundation has to be laid right. No matter how much we are doing industrialization, if power is a major impediment, then you cannot develop as much as you can. But I can tell you right now that we are very much on course. Uh, the state government, I think we owe uh, His Excellency Senator Bekulia Musu a debt of gratitude because for his commitment, his relationship, his efforts to ensure that these uh, Transmission in Jabodi uh, is resuscitated 
and is put in place. As a matter of fact, I can tell you that the 60 MVA that you see here has been upgraded by 100% to 120 MVA. While officially commissioning the new installation accompanied by the MD of TCN, the representative of the Awujale of Ijebuode and the head transmission service provider TSP of TCN, Mr. Victor Adewumi, Mr. Debbie said, To the glory of God and to benefit of mankind, most especially the good people of Ijebuode and his environment, and by extension of the state, I, the Chief of Staff of Ogun State, representing His Excellency Senator Bekule Amosu, hereby transform, hereby commission the 60 MBA 132 33KB power transformer in the Jabobi transmission substation this day, the 28th June 2018. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, has officially taken over a 22.5 MVA capacitor bank donated by the Japan International Cooperation Agency to boost the quality of electricity supply to consumers in Kefi Town and its environs. Speaking at the handover ceremony of the Kefi substation in Nasra State, the managing director CEO of TCN, Mr. Osman Guru Mohammed, who was represented by the head transmission service provider, TSP of TCN, Mr. Victor Adewumi, received the capacitor bank from JICA. He said the Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Fashola, had commissioned that of Apple earlier in the year. I want to, on behalf of the government of Nigeria, uh, express TCN profound appreciation to JICA for giving us this uh, wonderful project. Uh, the, this project is actually a grant. TCN is not paying any cover for it. He noted that JICA carried out a study on various areas with acute low voltage before selecting Apo and Kefi for the capacitor banks projects. He reiterated the company's commitment to maintaining the facility to continually boost supply, saying, The voltage to Kefi and by implication, the voltage to Akwanga will be significantly improved with the commissioning of this uh, capacitor bank. So we are expecting our customers, our consumers, that this station and Akwanga substation is supplying to have very improved uh, voltage. The JICA representative, Mr. Ntoro Fuji, from Yachiho Engineering, the consultant for the JICA project, expressed his delight in the project completion, as he said. Contractor, uh, Toyota Tsusho and uh, Hitachi plant construction and the uh, equipment supplier, uh, the Nishin Electric, covered everything. We are glad, we are happy, and then uh, coming for the completion ceremony. The general manager, Abuja region of TCN, engineer Polinis Ogu, loaded the capacitor bank installation by JICA, he noted that a similar project of 60 MVR capacitor bank was installed at the Apo substation in Abuja recently. We also remarked that the one at Apo, which was earlier commissioned, is doing well. So on behalf of uh, Abuja region, we are glad to receive the project, receive the equipment, and promise to keep it in good working condition to the best of our ability. The project coordinator, Prince Alimola Dada, explained the impact it will have in boosting power supply in Apo and Kefi substations where they have been installed and put into operation. He said, The main purpose for the capacitor bank is to improve the power supply from the power station a little bit so that you don't have losses at all times. So your, the, the stability of power you will be transmitting will be stable. So that is the purpose of the capacitor bank. And we are very glad that the capacitor bank we are having is quite different to what you had, what you had 
before um, the long span of each of the capacitor bank is over 30 years. Mr. Dada noted that JICA delivered the project as its contribution to improving power supply in Nigeria on behalf of the people of Japan, just as he acknowledged the various Japanese firms, including Hitachi, in their efforts to deliver more projects. The Japanese government believed that if they want to really give grant, grant that will work well, it's better for them to release the equipment and also ensure the inst installation and construct uh, construction are better handled by them. By so doing, they will be confident in giving you guarantee on those equipment. The AGM Abuja sub-region, engineer Mahmoud Suleiman, confirmed the quality of the projects the Japanese government has delivered. On the maintenance strategies, he said, The company has provided me with the critical space for maintenance, and I will have taken possession of that. So, and I, I think, and I'm feeling to uh, TCL management that uh, whenever the project is being uh, uh, perceived or uh, planned, that critical space needs to be incorporated in that. That will really help us in the field. Let's take a break for a short message. We'll be right back after that. Do not build under transmission power lines for your safety and health. Electricity power lines and substations, either for power transmission or power distribution services, are extremely dangerous when exposed to direct human contact. These power lines and substations transmit electricity that lights up our homes and offices, power our computers, TVs and refrigerators. On the other hand, the same electricity when exposed is extremely dangerous. It can shock, electrocute and kill anyone on its way. That is why everyone must adopt safety measures whenever we use or are close to electricity facilities like power lines or substation or transformers. For the safety of the people and animals, governments all over the world have approved way leave or right of way of 50 meters for 330 kV power lines and 30 meters for 132 kV power lines and for 33 kV lines the way leave is 15 meters. People are not expected to be found within this way leave or right of way for safety reasons. The lines can suddenly cut and fall to the ground with very disastrous consequences such as fire and electrocution of anybody and destruction of anything, be it vehicle, houses or vegetation on its line. It has also been established that power lines and substations emit electromagnetic fields, EMF, which is dangerous to human health. The World Health Organization, WHO, has warned that people who spend long hours under or close high tension lines stand the risk of being affected by EMF and be vulnerable to cancer leukemia in children, miscarriages among pregnant women, and other terrible diseases. It is therefore advisable not to build any structure or operate any business under or near any electricity high tension lines or substations. TCN wants you to stay alive, stay safe, stay healthy, avoid power lines. This message is from the management of Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. The Niger Delta Power Holding Company Limited has commissioned a 15 MVA 33 by 11 KV injection substation at Angwandosa, Kaduna Metropolis to improve electricity supply to about 161 social, religious and business entities in the area. The managing director of NDPHC, Mr. Chinedu Ubo, while commissioning the substation, noted that the project was conceived to address the acute power supply challenge in the area, saying. It's a 15 MVA uh, substation, uh, complete uh, with 33 kV line, and 33 to 11 kV uh, line, uh, for 4.6 km of 33 kV overhead line from my new transmission station, and 8 km of, kilometer of 11 kV overhead line, and then we have 60 completely self-protected uh, transformers. Mr. Ubu said the substation was energized in December 2017 by NDPHC 
as he thanked News Engineering, a local power construction firm, for completing the projects. He mentioned the various locations that will benefit from the substation, as he said. The feeders radiated from this substation, so the feeders were uh, radiated from this substation and supplying loads uh, electricity to first, first Army mechanized first. First Mechanized Army Division here in Kaduna, Kaduna State Legislative Quarters, as I mentioned before, the entire Angwandosa area of this Kaduna city, Zaria Road area here in Kaduna, and then we have 30 uh, mosques that are being served here, and we have 15 churches also being served here. We have 45 schools being served from the, the, this substation. We have 30 shopping complexes also being served from this substation. 10 hospitals, 8 private clinics, and 23 welders. And this has enhanced small and medium enterprises and improved economic activities within the resultant, um, with resultant positive effect on socioeconomic well-being within the area. Shortly before cutting the tape, along with the managing director of Kaduna Electric, Engineer Garba Haruna, the NDPHC bus lauded President Muhammad Buhari and the three tiers of government who are the drivers of the NDPHC for promoting key power sector intervention projects. We commissioned this project to the glory of God and to the benefits of, uh, of mankind and all the members of society, especially in the Angwandosa area and the Kaduna state. Amen. Pull. Just drop. Any, any side can drop. Just pull it. Any way you pull it, it goes. The substation's operation staff conducted Mr. Ugo and the other dignitaries around the control room while explaining the operational modalities. We have, uh, this should be up to three or something. Yes, this is three or something. Is, uh, five, 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 five. Mr. Ugo told newsmen after the commissioning that the residents were getting just three hours of power supply before the project came on stream. This now, you see they are being served the Kaduna electricity distribution company. Uh, and the told me that the average uh, time they serve between 15 and 18 hours, they serve customers that are connected to this. The MD of Kaduna Electric, Garva Haruna, said the substation was critical to boosting supply in the area and that customers were being served from areas that were already overloaded. The energy increase as uh, present promise that there's going to be an incremental increase or supply of energy all over the country is happening. And this is part of what uh, the Niger Delta Power Holding Company is doing. And we are collaborating with them because after commissioning, we, we take over the distribution. The Nigerian Electricity Management Services Agency, NEMSA, said it has cut down inspection and certification period for new power networks by 50% as it keys into the presidential order on the ease of doing business in the power sector. The Managing Director Engineer Peter Eweso disclosed this during the inauguration of the Parastatal Servicom Committee, PSC, of the agency in Abuja. Before now, people used to assess our inspectorate services 14 days, 1 to 14 days. But with the ease of doing business and the executive order that have been issued, I want to let you know that we reduce this to 50%, one day to seven days, instead of two weeks, is one week. And should there be any issue where there is any challenge, why that Office of NEMSA is not able to deliver without period. The affected persons, customers, those both, both internal and external stakeholders will be fully aware why the services could not actually be rendered. Retreating NEMSA quest to promote safe electricity utilization, a way so directed customers of distribution companies discuss to report meters that do not have the NEMSA seal, as he said. It means that meter has not been tested by the meter test station of NEMSA in line with the mandate and in line with the regulations. And so the accuracy of that meter, the workability of that meter cannot be guaranteed. 
and we are available to investigate and find out what the issues are so that as much as possible we can deal with them. The Chief Electrical Inspector of the Federation, CAIF, said with the survey come in place, NEMSA will consult with partner agencies for prompt service delivery, stating that For us here in NEMSA, we've already made it very clear that NEMSA will ensure that its mandate is delivered promptly, appropriately, in line with SAVICOM principles, in line with ease of doing business. And for this reason, too, we have decided to have collaboration, synergy with other relevant government agencies that we must cooperate, that we must collaborate, and have synergy together. The National Coordinator SAVICOM, Mrs. Nena Akajimelo, who inaugurated the NEMSA chapter said NEMSA had spearheaded quality service delivery as she further taxed the agency. You are to work to delight the customers. You are to work with the with the service takers at the center of at the center of every effort you make. For instance, issues of light. Like the MD said, I remember he said Power, electricity can be a very good thing. It can also be a very bad one if it's not properly managed and used properly. And so, all of those enlightenment want to encourage you continue to keep up, uh, keep informing us, keep educating us. Knowledge is power. Mrs. Akajimelu also advocated for global safety standards in the power sector through the embrace of Savicom and the best customer satisfaction. She said, We would take the next necessary steps forward and then also be able to bring into what we are doing best practice standards of the world best practice world over international standards so that we can reduce of uh, the level of accidents that happens when people know and they are better guided on how to manage and run the electricity so that nigerians can stop feeling short change We'll be right back as we bring to you the sound bite of the week. Take a listen. TCN, as at now, and generation are moving almost in the same direction. Well, uh, TCN can evacuate the 7,000 megawatt that uh, generators can generate. And uh, TCN is expanding. And we have planned to expand the grid to 20,000 megawatt, as I said. Um, we have already secured finance from multilateral development uh, agencies up to $1.57 billion, which has never been secured in the history of the agency. And uh, we have also strengthened our procurement and implementation system in such a way that uh, we are implementing projects. We have also empowered our TCN engineers to be able to install, I mean, to, who are installing transformers now. Um, in the last uh, less than one year, they have installed almost about 20 transformers. Even the transformer that got burnt in Kano, TCN engineers have brought it back to the grid. So this details the level of uh, cooperation that we are getting from staff. Stay put as we bring you more news in the Power Flash segment. date with us next week for another exciting and informative edition. Until then, please keep watching Power Wheel on our YouTube channel and we hope you reach us through these other platforms. I am Chiwenwa Anyao. Bye for now.